Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use the Google Finance function in Excel to look over a specific date range for a particular stock price. And I had a question a couple days ago about this. The person just wanted to go back a few days prior, uh, trading days prior, for an exchange-traded fund. And that's not too tough to do, really. Um, you do need to be aware of the today function and that we can calculate. So for instance, in any particular formula or any particular cell here, I can write the today function, which is the word today with an empty set of parentheses, press enter, and I'm going to get the current date. I'm uh, recording this on June 10th, so of course that's the date that displays. And then, okay, cool, knowing that, we can do the today function minus 2, and that's going to give me June 8th, two days prior to today. So now that we know about the today function and that we can calculate days plus or minus from that, we can incorporate that into our Google Finance function. So let's see, I'll just go ahead and delete those columns real quick. doesn't matter where we work here. I'll pick on cell uh, B, B1, and the first stock I'm going to play around with is good old MSFT from Microsoft. Right beneath that, I'm going to write equals Google Finance. I want the Google Finance function, and there's a bunch of different attributes you can put in here, but this is going to be super straightforward, and uh, I can't see because of all that help there. So let me just type it this way. First, in quotes, I'm going to put in MSFT. Now, of course, I already have MSFT, my symbol, in another cell. So instead of writing that, in quotes. You know what? I'm going to leave it just like that for now. I'll come back and change it in a second. Comma. The next parameter I'm going to put in is what I want, and I'm just going to go ahead and put in the price. And we can check Google Finance help and for all the different things you can look at, you know, whether it's the, the, the high or the low or the PE ratio and things like that. Comma. The next thing I want is going to be the start. Now, I closed my little screen tip, and normally there's going to be a little screen tip down there which will show you uh, what you can put. In fact, can I click on that? Yeah, so we can see right here for the example, there's the symbol and then there's the, the main attribute that we want. Then we have the start date and the end date, daily prices, weekly prices, monthly, and so forth. Let me close that. So for the starting price, I'm going to do the today function minus three comma, and then the ending date is going to be the today function empty. Empty set of parentheses for that today function. Then a closing parentheses for my Google Finance function. It's going to think for a quick second. And there we go. So we have June 7th, 8th, and 9th. I'm recording this on June 10th, which is a Thursday, which is a trading day. But um, it doesn't give me that price because it's not. I don't have the, the closing price for that day. So I'm going the, the three previous closes, 7, 8, 9. Now, out of curiosity, I'm going to go back to this real quick. And I'm going to change the MSFT. Instead of putting the symbol in there in quotes, I'll just click on cell B1. So basically the symbol that's in B1 is what's going to get displayed. And there's the price. And I'm going to change this to today minus 5. I do want to see what happens for like a Saturday and Sunday situation. Ah, there we go. So notice I do have five days prior to today. But of course, it's only going to give me those trading days, which are within that particular date range. So again, today is Thursday, so it's giving me Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday. And I would have to go a little bit further back. So if I did something like maybe seven days prior to today, now I can see that I'm getting um, yesterday, Tuesday and Monday, and then I get the Friday and the Thursday before. So that's an easy way so we can get a very limited date range for a particular stock you're looking for. Now, the person who asked me this question was specifically asking about exchange-traded funds. So let's change this out. Off on my other screen here, I've got some Vanguard exchange-traded fund symbols off to the side. So the Vanguard total, uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Total International Stock ETF is VXUS. So in theory, VXUS and it's going to think again and it's going to give me that and those prices are typical what I'm looking at here yeah it's in the upper uh, mid upper 60s so yeah so these look like accurate closes for that particular exchange traded fund and since they have this one from Vanguard they probably have others let's just do another one real quick how about this um, tax exempt bond fund VTEB VTEB there we go. Yep, and that looks accurate too. However, be prepared. 
Um, I have seen some spottiness with Google Finance about doing certain exchange-traded funds, so it may not have the ones you're looking for. You're just going to have to test it out and give it a shot. But otherwise, that's the basic formula right there. The symbol in question, what we want, in this case the price, and then our starting date, which is going to be the today function, minus some number of days that you're interested in, and then the ending will be the today price, or it could be also some other little formula in there. And uh, that's the Google Finance. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me. Take care.